What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Exactly two years after his debut album titled Look Up, Mod Son is back with his sophomore album titled Movie. March 10th is also his birthday. So I think it's really cool that he's been able to drop both of his albums on his birthday. Like the fact that we switched from Tuesday releases to Friday releases allowed this to happen. I mean, realistically, nowadays, you can put out an album any day. It doesn't really matter. But traditionally, you go for the Friday and back in the day. Damn, we, it, it sounds old now. Uh, it used to be Tuesdays. And also, happy late birthday to Mod. Uh, I don't know if folks see this review. But regardless, we're going to talk about movie. We're going to talk about his sophomore album. The more I sat with movie, the more I got into it. It was one of those albums that I found myself like really just grooving and, and dancing to the music in my seat. And uh, as I got familiar with the material, I was, you know, singing the hooks and singing the verses and, you know, rapping along. And it was just a really fun listen. And I think at this point, I'm willing to admit that this album movie is better than Look Up. Now let's talk about my favorite song, starting with You Are. Featuring Mansions. What is a Mod Sun album, project, mixtape, EP, whatever, without Black Bear? The two are really synonymous with each other. They work well. They are a great duo. So I don't even want to know what a Mod Sun album sounds like without a Black Bear hook on it. Black Bear formed this group with Mike Posner. They're called Mansions. They're working on their debut album as well. Black Bear does the hook. Mike Posner comes in for the third verse, and it's just a, a great song to me. It was really catchy. I think Black Bear has an amazing voice. His hooks are always on point. He's singing about wanting this girl and only wanting her. Like, you are the only one that I want in my head. You are the only one I want in my bed. And it was just a great record overall. Now let me talk about the other song on my favorites list, which is an acronym. WW. Y-G-A-D-T. Why would you go and do that? This record right here is one where my son is at like his most vibrant. He's very electric and energetic and just overall into the whole entire song. From the lyrics to the flow, all of that is just on point for me. As someone who is always so fun and energetic, I look forward to listening to my son's projects to find that one song that kind of matches that. Not to say that there's nothing else energetic on the album, but this one, Why Would You Go and Do That, is the one. It's the song that I can't wait to see him on tour and see him perform this one because I know it's going to go crazy. People are going to enjoy this. I really had like a screw face when he came in uh, on the second verse and he said, A1 since day one, hot like Satan, superhero with no cape on. Like it's not it's less about what he said and more about the delivery and I really was just into it. Now let me quickly highlight two of my honorable mentions starting off with a song called Two. I like concept songs so anytime you have a record that sticks uh, closely to a concept that's cool my son goes in and talks about uh, you know the number two and all the different situations. I need two accounts. I need two girls. I need two of everything. You know kind of like Noah's Ark. The other song that I have on my list is Make Something of Yourself. This is the, the motivation that Mod Son delivers. There's no like audiobook to go with this one uh, like there was on Look Up. And so I feel like he was able to pack in that motivation on the last two songs. Make Something of Yourself and The End Slash Start Again. Those two right there were also some of my highlights from the album. Now let me talk about the bad song on the album, Smoking What I'm Smoking On, featuring Dram and Rich the Kid. For me, Rich the Kid is like that interchangeable trap rapper. And so you listen to his verse, and you can pretty much pin that verse to anybody that uh, raps with that sound. He literally gave me nothing of value. I felt nothing listening to his part. And it sucks because I don't want to peg the whole entire song for that. 
But I just felt like this song would have been a lot better if it was just a Mod Son solo record. Because I liked the hook and I liked his two verses. But the guest features, uh, you know, Dram was okay, but I really wasn't too uh, impressed with it. I, I, he fits. And I could say he had more of a personality than Rich the Kid. But ultimately, I would have just loved uh, a Mod Son solo song for this one. I believe when I reviewed Look Up back in 2015, I said something along the lines of the world needs a little bit more Mod Sun. And I think that statement still rings true in 2017. Mod Sun is getting better as an artist. He's a positive person. So anytime that you have some positivity in hip hop, uh, you got to cherish that. You got to appreciate that. With movie, it's another body of work that encompasses uh, fun, it encompasses inspiration, and overall a likable personality. That is Mod Sun in a nutshell. So those are my thoughts on Mod Sun's sophomore album movie. Uh, once you listen to the album, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video. Follow me on Twitter at Sermons Domain. And as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, peace.